Hello students, hope you are well and healthy and you are at your home. Yes, we have been past so many days, but we all know time waits for now. Now we have to focus how to prepare ourselves for the board exam because the board is coming and time is passing. That's why keeping in mind the board exam Today I am here at front of you to share a very important topic from your geography syllabus. I know some of you are having book and some of you may not have book but no issue. If you are with me right now, you will get to understand the topic very easily. Before going to the topic, I just want to make you sure the about the distribution of marks. You all know in 9th class the distribution mark it was 20 plus 80 total 100. In 10th class also it is same but little twist is there. 20 internal that includes your project and other activities. And 80 that includes 20 marks for topo map that is known as topographical map and 10 marks map of India and 50 marks rest 50 marks for theory this 20 and 10 totally practical based it means if you will not practice you will not be able to score this 30 marks but if you will practice no problem is there we will discuss this 20 marks later on it means topographical map later on 10 obviously you will get in your school portal which already has been uploaded 50 theory part which today we are going to start yes with the topic climate so let's start and are you ready to learn yes I already have been written the topic that Indian climate so it is very clear the climate of India climate of India so to know the term climate we have to understand first the term weather so what is weather weather is our atmospheric condition like at, that also atmospheric temperature atmospheric pressure winds and moisture which changes frequently at a particular time and it and also particular place it means it is not fixed but climate this is used for broad based it does not change frequently and the definition we can say it is the subtotal weather condition of a large area. It may be a continent, more than a continent or a region. And which has been experienced more than 35 to 40 years. Okay. So here Indian climate means India also have this kind of also climate which also has been experienced more than 40 years. But what kind of climate? There are a number of climatic zones in the world. There are also, if I give put the example, you have been read in your ninth class, tundra climate, tropical climate, temperate climate, then polar climate, number of climate. So here, Indian climate is the tropical monsoonal climate. Indian climate is the tropical monsoonal climate okay here this two term are very important to understand the Indian climate how this this is tropical and how this monsoonal term has come here so we have to know the latitudinal and longitudinal extension of India you know the cardinal points yes these four main that also cardinal points north, south, west and 
east if i say that also indian also having the particular also that latitudinal and longitudinal extension according to these cardinal points we will get the answer this why it is tropical here at the southern side the latitudinal extension is 8 degree 4 minute north to northern side that is 37 degree 6 minute north and at the west side 68 degree 7 minute east to at the eastern side 97 degree 25 minute east here southern part kanyakumari to shrinagar jammu kashmir western side there porbandar kathiawar to eastern side arunachal pradesh so this is the extension of india longitudinal and latitudinal but if we only see this latitudinal extension 8 degree 4 minute north to 37 degree 6 minute it is very clear means south side more southern part of india there will be equator that's why it is increasing towards northern that hemisphere northern pole side so here within this 8 degree 4 minute to 37 degree there is a very important that imaginary line that is a latitude situated there that is the tropic of cancer with tropic of cancer which is having the value of 23 degree 30 minute north north means northern hemisphere as our latitudinal extension is north are you getting to see yeah now here see that this already i have drawn to make you understand that where this tropic of cancer situated if you will see this is the part of that also northern part of gujarat from here is semi arc dotted line it is passing through that india that is 23 degree 30 minute north this is tropic of cancer which divides india near about two equal halves okay that's why india is having a control also it may influence by this tropic of cancer okay so that's why india climate is tropical monsoonal monsoon how the term monsoon has come monsoon the term has been derived from a arabic word mausin or mausin somewhere you will get to see mausin somewhere mausin no issue with m or n but the meaning of this term is reversal or changes in seasons or winds as we know that india is having main four seasons hot summer then monsoon or rainy season then retreating monsoon and then winter or the cold season these four seasons are there it means season changes are there as well as we can say whatever you have read that land bridge and sea bridge that only in larger and broad based in india we can experience that's why the just opposite direction in difference is in the wind blow okay so why it is tropical because the tropic of cancer it divides or sorry passes through the middle part of india and that's why influence we can get to see and monsoonal means change season changes okay now the factors what factors that control the indian climate most there are so many factors i'm writing this factors first himalaya mountain himalaya 
we all know that himalaya standing as a barrier at the northern part of india this barrier it is also helping us from this bitter cold which is coming from that also that central asia if it, it will not be there then the india will become a frigid zone but no no students as in himalaya standing there it is not allowing to enter this cold wind to india another hand also we can see that the southwest monsoon which is a rain bearing winds that is shedding the rain in indian subcontinent because the himalaya mountain forcing it to shed in india only if himalaya mountain will not be there this rain bearing wind will go outside of india is it clear sometime it asks in the also himalaya is also create different kinds of climate in different sides in indian subcontinent different climate in other side in different climate okay now the next point is altitude altitude mean you know height with the height temperature decrease we know that is known as the lapse rate that natural or normal lapse rate with 166 meter of height the temperature decrease at a rate of 1 degree centigrade okay so which places are having more height will have less temperature and which places are having less height plains will have more temperature next distance from the sea distance from the sea first of all the water bodies play a very important role for any of the climatic zone as already i have said india is having the influence of sea bridge and land bridge means that also obviously there will be some influence of this sea ocean or any of the water bodies if we see the map of india here see that the northern part of india that is far from the water bodies that's why the range of temperature is very high even in summer and in winter so here we can say continental type continental type of climate we can face here and here at the southern part we are getting to see three sides the water body surrounding at the eastern part bay of bengal at the southern side indian ocean at the western side arabian sea this is known as peninsula because peninsula means that when the land mass will be surrounded by three sides by a water body that is known as a peninsula so here this peninsula part the southern part of tropic of cancer will have a maritime climate maritime maritime right it means there will be more influence of that sea bridge and land bridge that's why the range of temperature is not that much high like in that continental part me here we will get to see at that coastal area like here that maharashtra the gujarat maharashtra gujarat maharashtra then goa karnataka kerala then tamil nadu then andhra pradesh here odisha and here west bengal are you getting to see so here these coastal states always will have a maritime or a moderate kind of climate means the temperature range will not be that much higher hardly 3 to 5 degree centigrade but the continental type it can be some for that 40 degree centigrade in winter season we have seen the and we have experienced also the lowest temperature which we experienced the month of january 
that is 2 degrees centigrade and in that summer time the temperature is rising 48 degrees centigrade means the range is more than 40 degrees but here all coastal areas will have the maximum range of temperature here it will be 3 to 5 degree means whole year near about same kind of climatic conditions okay have you understood obviously next after the next that point which i am going to show that is the western disturbances western disturbances what is western disturbance so it is very clear by the term the disturbances which is also creating by, by from that western side of india if we'll see here the western part there is pakistan and other so many other countries like afghanistan kazakhstan and iraq iran are there here in the winter season a temperate cyclone cyclone conditions it create at the western part and due to that the temperature also fall and little or the light rain we can face here in the part of punjab haryana western up and some part of himalaya so here these are the main some factors which influence indian climate or control indian climate okay so here students i am also completing my today's also point and today's topic next day we will also go to continue and we will continue the next points the indian seasons and how it's also influence in our life that we'll get to know clear so see revise and if you are having book read once okay thank you so much